Hello, everybody. I am very happy. Um, and you're about to find out why, but... I mean, it says in the title, so you already know, but... Um, anyways, did a quick video today. I, I came home, saw a package on my front step, and I was like, hopefully it's what I think it is, and I did a little bit of Black Friday shopping, so I have a couple things on the way. Oh, I'm so happy, okay? You already know what it is, but... There's the box. Oh yes, it's the race Eng shift knob. Specifically the slammer with all that inside. Oh. There we go. My favorite thing about this box is the <laughs> is the actual logo in the foam. All right, we'll start off with the basic. This is the uh, adapter for my car. So I'm gonna be going over the full installation of this. Um, the replaced zip tie for the boot cover, boot thing. <laughs> and then finally, the thing we've all been looking, waiting for. The slammer. This beautiful blue Race Eng Slammer Shift Knob. It's got a weight to it, to be honest. It's like, it almost weighs like a five pounds. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But, God, it's so beautiful. So, do a quick video of installing these. Oh. Let's go out to the car. We're in the car, and uh, we got my beautiful, beautiful box right here. Um, and then some materials. You're going to be needing um, scissors to cut the zip tie off of the boot. And then your Allen key that'll fit the adapter. Alright, so it's going to be kind of hard to record. But basically what you're going to start doing is pull this up. Pull your boot up. So you can see the zip tie, which is like right about there. And that's right here, actually. Sorry. Um... Basically, we're just going to be replacing this with the adapter and taking this off. Pretty basic, pretty easy. So, anyways, um, I can't really find a good place. Everything's so round and smooth and can't really get a good view. Basically, if I put you right here, actually that works out pretty good. You're just on my leg right now. So you're going to find your zip tie, which is right here for me, for this model. I'm just going to be doing a quick snip. I can, I can get it. It's really tight on there. Ah! I nearly lost you. Sometimes it's going to take a little bit of work. There we go. Nope. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't I try try not to rip the boot because well that would suck. Pretty pretty basic. All right, so now cut your zip tie. Oh no, no, this is what you gotta do. You gotta take off the shift knob now, and mine isn't uh twist off because. It's all sorts of weird. You need to put some elbow grease into it. It's just hard to record it. Alright. We got the old shift knob off. It was really hard. That was like really on there. The best way to do it is like cup your hands around it kind of like that on each side. And get like have your back like up there. And then just yank on it as hard as you can. Oh, it's harder. Harder than it looks. But anyways. Got this off. So now we can install it. All right, so let me get the box here. So it's pretty easy. You're gonna take your shift knob. This, of course. And then you're gonna take your adapter. And you're gonna screw it in. 
Only reason why we're doing this is because we have an engraving on the top, so we want it to face a certain way, like that. You want it to face like that. Now, basically, we're going to hold it there. Screw it. Now, we're going to take our Allen key, and each of these, we're going to tighten. See, is there any more? Yep. this end because of the differently sized for some reason. Wait, what am I doing? Make it basically to where it won't move. We don't want to over tighten them and seize up the... Oh. Goodness. You don't want to over tighten them and seize up the bolts. Just enough to Get it on nice and tight. Now, put it on. Oh, I'm not even... Come on, what's, what's the hold up here? I was spinning it the wrong way. Like an idiot. No, I wasn't. I was doing it right. There we go. And like that, we didn't got ourselves the shift knob on there. I just had to line it up right. It feels way, way better than this. This is like, it's it, weird. This just feels, it's, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it looks so nice. All right, so now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back out. So right about there, so it won't go up anymore, like that. Now we're gonna be taking our zip tie. Okay, this is as high up as I can go. So, just make sure, because I wanna have the boot end right before the adapter starts. So, need a feel for the adapter, there it is. I also want to check something too, to where basically if I were to push this back down from there, oh yeah, it's kind of a stretch, but it's good. Okay, here we go. Let me make sure I find the right spot. I did. Cool, now you're gonna be taking your scissors again. Where did I put my scissors? Oh, they're back here. Now, 
snipping off all this access. Cool. Pushing this back down. Putting it, put that back in neutral. And then shove this down. Please, camera, work with me. <laughs> Okay, that's all good. Here we go. Push that. All right. Whew. A little bit of a process, but I'll see it a little bit. Oh, so happy right now. Shift boot looks a little weird, but I'm going to be getting probably a shift well. So basically what that means, instead of having this boot, it's just going to be a drop down. Might look a little weird, but oh my god. So happy right now. Alright, let's take this. this. I don't want to throw that away. So you know what, this is where we're going to store the old shift Put it right back in this bag that this one came in. Plus, this one's like really light and kind of cheapo. And it's old, you could tell because it's like been used a lot because it's starting to yellow out and whatnot. Alright, put this back in the box. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to install. Ugh, it's how to install a, a shift knob. So, sorry for the bad video shaking. I just I need a tripod that will fit this camera. Um, I'm gonna actually take a quick step out and show you. Let me grab my, my flipper sandal. Um, put this on. I wanna show you what it looks like, like in the car, full experience. Ugh. Doesn't that just look fantastic? Ah, oh, and it feels so good. Oh, I'm happy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a nice thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, even though it's only my fifth video. All right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is my fifth video. So, pretty basic. Um, I basically showed you how to remove the knob. Uh, all you need to do, I'm just going to do a quick run over. You basically, you pop that up. Pull the boot all the way up, snip the snip the zip tie, pull that boot down past the the head. Um, now cup it and really get it takes some it takes some elbow grease to get the old shift knob off. Take your adapter, put it on, screw it on, put the shift the actual shift knob onto the adapter, put the adapter down onto the shift stick. And then hold it, take the knob back off, tighten all the screws on it, make sure that they're nice and tight so that they won't come off. And then you, then you screw that back on and you have a shift knob. And then after that you gotta put the boot back up, get it to where you want, zip tie it, and you're done. Complete. It took me about 10 minutes to do. So <laughs> it's, it's really, really not hard. Um, again, if you liked it, put a thumbs up on it. Uh, yeah, it's December in Colorado, okay? You think of Colorado, right? You think it's winter, snow, everywhere. We're still having 70 degree weather, guys. I'm really upset. Um, so, pray for snow. That sounds bad, but pray for snow because I love snow. It's like the best, best thing ever made. <laughs> ever made. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a... Cause as you can kind of see, there's some stickers and stuff in here and on the car itself, and I just want to do like a quick update video after I put something else on that you guys are going to be watching as well. So, this has been awesome. I'm happy. I'm stoked, actually. Looks so nice. Feels nice. Um, <sighs> just glad to get that old shift knob out of there. So, cool. Um, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. This has been AT Cars. Awesome from AT Cars. Trenton can join me because... Friday and he's out cruising in his car because he's 16. So, um, yeah.
Anyways, we're done. Cool. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.